Thanks for stopping by the Articat service channel. Today we'll be covering the cam timing on the 7000 model. Tools required for this procedure is a large flat blade screwdriver, side cutters, two zip ties, a five millimeter Allen wrench, 19 deep well socket on a 3 8 ratchet, and an eight millimeter T-handle. Refer to your service manual for complete instructions. This video is to touch on the most difficult parts of the cam timing process. First step we want to do is get our number three cylinder to top dead center, taking our 19 millimeter and turning clockwise on the crankshaft, getting our marks lined up for top dead center. One tip putting your cams in, make sure you have the intake cam, which in this model is a single ring, and the exhaust cam, which is a double ring, in the right locations for the engine. On your intake cam, you'll have I on the gear for intake, and that mark will be aligned with the head. And E on the exhaust gear, that mark will also be aligned with the head, and you have two center marks that align with the head and each other for proper cam timing. Also count the pins from the inside of this mark. It'll be 18 pins to the inside of this mark. If you're off a of gear, you can see your marks are off and your pin alignment will be off. So now to correct, showing one tooth off on your exhaust, just wanna lift the chain, rotate until our marks are back in their place. And there were 18 pins from the inside of this mark to the inside of this mark. Once your cams are aligned, here's a tip, is to take a zip tie just to hold the cam chain in place on your gears since there's no tension on them to keep them from jumping around when we're tightening the caps. Next you want to apply oil to your cam journals and lobes. Next you want to put your cam caps in place. E for exhaust with the arrow facing towards the gear. And on your intake side it'll be I with the arrow facing towards the gear. On the front cam caps, we'll lightly tighten by hand and then put our cam chain tensioner in. For installation of the cam chain tensioner, we want to depress these, the spring and push it in and put the armature over on the pin. When installing the cam chain tensioner, make sure the arrow is pointing up. That lines your oil ports so the cam chain tensioner works properly. After your cam chain tensioner is in, you can start snugging your cam caps down. As you're doing this, do it in increments all around, as you'll see the cam going down in place. Once your cam chain tensioner and cam caps are snug down in place, refer to your service manual for proper torque specifications. Before installing your cam cover, make sure you take your zip ties off. Refer to your service manual for the complete reassembly procedure. Thanks for checking out our video on cam timing. For future videos, you can subscribe below.